Dragon's Dogma 2. So this is the new combat. This is actual gameplay. I'm gonna move it up a little bit so you guys can see that part. So this is like that city that we saw in the uh, in the first. Uh, I want to move it up so you guys can see the uh, the, the map here. Uh, in the first trailer, as you can see, uh, there's a bird that's just ravaging the plains, but they're walking by it as if it didn't even happen. <laughs> So if you look right here, you can see there's a problem in the farm. There is a giant griffin that's uh, basically ruining everybody's day. That's cool, yeah. Real pain in the ass. Somebody needs to get the shotgun. I think I might start Cyberpunk tomorrow, but I'm kind of thinking about starting it the day after. Like, more realistically. And, uh, whenever I do... Uh, I'm gonna play through that, so I can play the new content. And then, afterwards... Uh, afterwards, I think I'm gonna play Dragon's Dogma 1. I think that's the next game that I want to get into. And I'm gonna play Dragon's Dogma 1, by the way, like, very, very open-endedly. Like, I'm not really going to try to, like, make content out of it. I just really want to play the game and enjoy it. So, like, it's not going to be, like, a super... Like, it probably will be boring at a lot of times for the stream. But I just want to have the have fun and play the game. Oh, Eyes of P. I'll probably finish that tomorrow. That's what I was saying, not tomorrow. For Cyberpunk. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit so we can see actually some of the, uh, some of the real, like, interactions here. <laughs> Looks like an early build. Yeah, this came out, I think, today, right? Yeah, five hours ago. I, I really love the draw distance in the game. Just the way this looks is absolutely incredible to me. Look at that. It's got the nice relaxing music. No loading screens. Isn't that crazy how he left the town and there wasn't a loading screen to leave the town? Bro, I think this is like a vertical slice or it's like fake or something like that because I don't think the technology for that's there yet. Yeah, maybe this is actually just like a movie or something or like pre-rendered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, it's gotta be fake. Draw distance on landscape is nice. Hopefully they fix the NPCs popping in. You'll probably be able to fix that with, like, culling uh, on PC. I will download mods for games that will make the visual experience more clear. Like, for example, I'm going to download graphics mods for uh, Dragon's Dogma 1. This is so fake. Bro, I think it is, too. Like, there's no way a real human cat looks like that. I've never- I've never seen a goblin in real life, bro. <laughs> I just got gangbang. <gasps> one level one goblin, annihilated by the fucking Fellowship of the Ring. And a guy with a fire sword. <laughs> the guy just picked him up and threw him at the other one. Well, that's like the executability that's in Final Fantasy. Or Final Fantasy 16. And then that, that impale attack is the same one. Is in Black Desert. Oh shit. Bro, Mr. Bird's fucking with the ox, too? Bro, he just doesn't give up. There must be Goblin Slayer fans. Super excited for Season 2, man. Super excited. I love Season 1. So now they've got the Griffin. Okay, so go hit him. 
He's got a lot of health. Are those three circles there? Four circles there? Are those like uh, health bars he's got? I don't know. I guess that's if a uh, companion's knocked down. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wow, bro. They didn't do any damage to him. He says, Ayo, fuck the team. Bro, classic WoW hardcore POV. Yep. No Morgan POV. <laughs> he a roach. <laughs> he gonna roach out. Let's go. <laughs> it even sounds like classic WoW players. Bro, he don't eat. Bro, he not even thinking about them anymore. He's gone. Let's wait for the Chimera. It's annoying as fuck. Yeah, for sure. Oh, wait, wait, it's a danger bird. Oh, I see. Yeah, the archer's trying to kill it. Music's nice. I hope games have the option. Uh, I remember whenever New World added this, this was like kind of an improvement to not have combat music. Because, like, sometimes going from, like, combat to not combat whenever you're traveling in the world is, like, very um, jarring, like, with the music going back and forth. So I, I hope that they have it to where that's not the case, where, like, you can actually just turn off combat music. I felt that way about Final Fantasy. Yeah, it breaks immersion. It does. Uh, I felt, felt that way about Final Fantasy 16 as well. Like, going through, like, some of those, um, like, forest areas, and there'll be, like, a spider that's like, yeah, and it's like... It's like, okay, come on. Okay. Can you kill one of these guys up here? I really like games that uh, have, like, these wide open spaces. Oh, shit, okay, they're gonna fight the dogs. Okay. She's like, what the fuck? Alright, oh wait, what? Yo, they got a big boy over there. But he's only got two of those little uh, diamonds next to him, so it's probably easier to kill than the fucking griffin. Alright. This guy's got- I, I wonder if the fire weapon does anything unique. Like if it can catch people on fire or some shit. Uh, I'm assuming it probably can. It looks like there's a lot of, like, environmental, like, multipliers in this. It does, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Dude, I'm so excited to play this. I'm actually so fucking excited. This is gonna be so fun. Monster ran away. Well, that's good. Makes it interesting. I mean, it's annoying sometimes, but, like, uh... I think having NPCs that behave differently is, uh, is probably better than... Like, it's one thing to have every monster run away constantly, which is, like, really annoying, like in Diablo 4. But, like, having it happen sometimes is cool, like in WoW. Oh, wow, so you can actually go inside their hitbox. Like, watch this. If... If you can move that tightly, I bet the hitboxes in this game is gonna be pretty good. Yeah, wow, that's actually really clean. Like, why, look at the, uh, it's gonna look like he's sucking the dude's dick, but, like, look at this, right? See that? He went right underneath it. That's so clean. Ooh. Bro. <laughs> Bro, he just says, boom, bitch. Get out of my life. Kind of cool if you can do it on purpose. Yeah. She... Bro, he just threw him and he walked over and stomped on his head. This guy's an asshole. By the way, you see how clean and fluid these animations are? There's no, like, weird...
Oh. Yep. Very clean, very fluid, predictable, understandable, physically consistent and logical. Very nice to see this. Is this co-op or NPCs? They're NPCs that help you. It's like you make your own fellowship. Is it 1080p? Yeah, it is actually. Uh, let me see, can I turn it up anymore? I can't. It's on auto. I think honestly, it's just uh, you know low recording quality. It, it's it's probably they probably did it with um, performance mode on uh, on PS5 with the early build. My understanding with game development, which is again not very good, is that optimization is done towards the later end of the game. So uh, it would make sense that like the graphics and everything don't look super great. And also, yeah, you're multiplying with, with like uh, YouTube bitrate and then also Twitch bitrate. Look at that, bro. That's so nice. Okay, so what happens, bro? Like, does he get another health bar after this, or what? So in the first one, you create one NPC, then you recruit other people, or just randoms in the world? Yeah, I'm gonna try it out soon. Oh, wow, so the rogue, the rogue NPCs can do what the rogue characters can do. Bro, Sarah's going to work. She's out for blood, she's stabbing his ass. She's gonna give this dude hemorrhoids. Oh my god. Okay, so then I see. So he has actual multiple health bars. Okay. Damn, what was that? Ooh. What? Oh my god! Just throw him in the fucking water! Oh, are you not able to swim in this game? I hope you're at least able to, um... I hope that you're able to at least get into the water. I, I hate games where, like, if you touch the water, it's like... The screen turns black. Yeah, I just feel like that's so immersion-breaking and, like, really cheap. Maybe it's because of his armor? Maybe, but like, couldn't he breathe underwater? Couldn't he like walk or at least like, try to at least get out? I don't know. Okay, so this is like the respawn. Get up, George. Get back to work, bitch. Shoot the marrows. Ooh. Okay. No swimming in Dragon Sogma, unfortunately. I still think you should be able, like, there should, maybe it shouldn't be like a, 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 like a design. Bro, George just got fucked. <laughs> Look at the blood in the water. Wait. <laughs> they just got 4,000. Wait, the dude died in the water too. He drowned. Yeah, I do think that's cheesy. I really hope they fix it, right? I do. I, I hope they fix that. I think that's super cheesy. Why they showcase bugs? I mean, because people are going to buy the game anyway. Like, realistically. It's like, like Starfield, right? It's, look at Starfield. Okay, so now what? Oh, the cocksuckers are back. It's not a bug, it's intended game design decision? Maybe it is. I just, I, I just, I don't know. Personally, like, am I the only person that thinks, like, you should at least be able to get into the water a little bit? Like, if there's rivers in the game, I think you should be able to, like, swim across the rivers. And I think if, like, there's a monster in, like, the ocean or something like that, it should be, like, it should, like, kill you or, like, attack you or something like that, rather than just, like, the screen going black. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Uh, I don't, I don't want to nitpick, though. Like, honestly, like, as I said, I'm super excited for the game. It's just my opinion. Ooh. Bro, 
Bro, where's George and Sarah? Where are they? Shouldn't they be helping him? What are they doing? Crazy never played Dragon Sogma 1. Well, I'm glad I didn't, because now I get to play it on stream. Do you not have a target lock on? Because I don't think that the players use to target lock on at all. Oh, that's really cool. You can knock them off. Look at that. Only for magic? Well, I guess we'll find out. If I would just suck? I don't know. I mean, who knows? I feel like even if somebody sucks, they'll be able to figure out how to target lock on, right? I don't know. God, bro, like, I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. Like, I I'm getting excited for a game that doesn't even have a release date. That's some real down bad shit. Like, I probably should not be doing that. When's the release? Yeah, it's gonna be soon, guys. It's gonna be really, really soon. 